This is a desktop CNC machine that I designed and built and I'm just about to change the cutting tool in the spindle over to this 3D printed drawing attachment. The yellow part holds a pen roughly the same angle you would with your hand. It also has a sprung mechanism so the nib doesn't drag across the surface it will be drawing upon. I sometimes draw to test how the machine performs while setting up or making changes to the controller's firmware. I also like drawing with this tool especially compared to cutting because it's so much quieter. I just performed a probing cycle which involved the tool touching onto a button with a simple circuit that is broken upon contact. This automatically sets the zero location along the Z axis based on some G-code and a known position. I then move the gantry to the rear of the machine along the Y axis and install my drawing platform. This is a rebated piece of Valchromat which I can place a thin piece of material on top and clamp the paper along the outer edge. I set the datum or starting position by locating the pen to the bottom left corner of the drawing surface as this corresponds with how I set up my toolpaths. I then use bulldog clips to hold the paper in position and begin drawing. My CAM software is set up so that the tool moves to the dating position before starting the job, which I prefer as this gives me a bit of time to notice if I've made any mistakes and need to abort, but this time everything looks okay. The noise you can hear are the stepper motors whirling and whining as they turn the ball screws and move the linear roll carriages, which in turn drives the pen left and right and up and down. I'm drawing the front page of the plans for the machine you can see in action. My plans are to digitize drawings I've done by hand and to use the machine to create copies in a similar way printmakers have editions of their etchings. While the machine works away, I can pursue more leisurely activities like pretending to read. I want to sell limited edition copies of the physical plans with the drawing being the front page. The plans themselves are over 100 pages long and contain lots of illustrations, but the ones on the front page will be of the completed machine. If you're more interested in CNC machines than drawings, downloadable plans are also available on my website. I did a few different type of titles, but this was my favorite. I set up the vector so the name of the machine was drawn using a zigzag pattern. The pen doesn't have to lift off the paper as often, and I was hoping this would decrease the time taken to complete the drawing. If I push the machine, I can complete a drawing in around 45 minutes, but if I were doing several drawings over an entire day, I'd probably slow the machine down to make it quieter. This room isn't very big after all. I could also save time if I painstakingly went through the vectors to make more continuous lines. So that's a drawing of the CNC machine done by the CNC machine. And there you have it, the completed front page. As I mentioned earlier, if you are interested in the plans for the desktop CNC machine, those are now available to buy from my website, which I'll link to in the description and information card. That leaves me with the final thing to say, which is thanks again for watching, and you'll hopefully catch me in the next one.